You ever have those days that you ask yourself, is it worth having a dog? Do I really want a dog? Why did I do this to myself? Last night was one of those nights. So last night, around, well, I guess technically this morning, around 2.40, winter gets up crying and pacing me to go to the potty. I put her off thinking, okay, she'll go lay down. She'll go lay down. She's just, because sometimes she will literally wake me up to go potty because she's bored. So I thought, okay, I'll just, I'll give it a minute, make sure she's serious. So she kept it up. I let her go outside. She disappears for 40 minutes. I'm calling for her, looking for her. Nothing. Right when I start to panic, I realize I can hear her sniffing around somewhere in the dark. And I know how she is. If she thinks she's in trouble, she won't come to you. So I started hollering, good girl, good girl. And here she come, flying in the house. I've never wanted to cuss my dog <laughs> so bad in my whole life. So I didn't fall back asleep until 4.40 and my alarm goes off at 5.30. Yeah, today's gonna be a long day. But right now, I'm gonna make some biscuits. <laughs> On a morning like this morning, I'm glad my sink is clean. Now some of you guys <laughs> seemed very distressed that my sink is dark right here. This sink has been like this since we got in this house. I have used everything imaginable. You can see where it's been cut. The man who lived here before, they said that they done everything. It's not as much staining as whatever top coat material is on this. I don't know if this is a cast iron sink. I know that it's really hard. It's, I don't know. I don't even know what type of sink this is. We've tried everything you can imagine. We have tried bleach. Nothing will take this off. As a matter of fact, when you use bleach, when you use any kind of abrasive, a cleaner at all, and try to get rid of it, it's actually darkened since we've tried to clean it. So, I'll live with the stain. <laughs> so, while everyone else is eating biscuits, I will be eating this. This is a chia seed bowl. Basically, it's little chia seeds that you can get at the store, and you put them in coconut milk. Um, and let them sit overnight. The longer you let it sit, the better it'll taste. I let, I make mine the night before and let it sit. And it almost makes like a pudding type consistency because these things expand. Um, and then I put freeze dried fruit in it. You can put fresh fruit in it, but I'm a texture eater and I despise how slimy it tastes when you do that. So I always do like freeze dried fruit. I'll show so you. I have a layer of toasted coconut on the bottom. This is papaya, pineapple, coat, like chunks of raw coconut, and cranberries. You just mix it up and eat it. This stuff is so good. So I went ahead and made, look how big my shirt is. <laughs> I went ahead and made um, John's food and came out here in the barn and I brought them some spinach. This is organic baby spinach. My bunnies love this. But last night I came out here one last time and I don't know what the deal was, but I totally forgot to feed them, so they're starving. So, I figured I would bring them a big thing of spinach to apologize for forgetting to feed them yesterday. Yeah. Worst on stutter in the world. So yesterday, we discussed the fact that <clears throat> they only laid like five eggs one day, six eggs one day when I did not give them crickets. But when I was giving them crickets, they laid double eggs. Um, I came out here this morning and we have 14 eggs to 10 hens. And I gave them a bunch of crickets yesterday. So, looks like I'm going to the store to buy more crickets because apparently it works. And in other news, apparently she has been taking eggs and putting them under her. I checked her today. I for sure do have 11 uh, quail eggs underneath her. But she was sitting on three chicken eggs. I don't know how long they've been out here. But obviously we can't use them now so dang so it's but confession time I have not done anything today 
other than basically cook. I cleaned up a little bit. Washing and dry, finishing washing and drying the clothes that I did not get done yesterday. Cuddling is with my poopy and baby poopy. And I'm staring at this. Laundry. Laundry everywhere. Piled up on the couch. Waiting. Excuse me, poopy. <laughs> waiting to be folded and put away by yours truly. I'm not really doing that today. I'm just kind of taking a day of laziness. I've not really overly done a whole lot. And that's because I'm just, I'm really tired. I'm really tired. I'm wore out. This morning when John came home, he told me, do not go to the gym. He was like, you look really pale. I was, I was pretty washed out this morning. I don't know what the, boopy, <laughs> get comfortable and lay still. I don't know what's going on. If I'm just like overdoing it or I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I'm not getting sick. That's for sure. I'm just tired. I'm just wore out from doing everything all the time and I just want a break. So today, we're taking a lazy day and it's rainy. And that hair, that makes it worse, <laughs> I think, when it's rainy. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be lazy today. I'm gonna do the bare minimum possible and get back on it tomorrow. I woke up with such high hopes and great plans of all these things that I wanted to get done, but I'm just gonna take a lazy day. After running nonstop, I've been running nonstop for almost two weeks, like not even a break. So, that's the plan for the day, man. Not a nothing. I'm sitting here procrastinating doing what I should be doing because I don't want to do it. Playing on Snapchat. Want to see what I was doing? <laughs> for the most part, there's very little about being a mom that I don't like. Except for this one thing. There's one thing that my children do that literally makes me so mad I could just die. Like, if I'm standing here in this kitchen, do not walk in here and look at me and go, I'm hungry. I'm cooking. This ain't a microwave. You don't just pop stuff in and just pop stuff out. It requires some time and finesse. Then I'm going to spend all that time cooking them something really nice. They get it, look at it, and go... But I wanted chicken nuggets. Oh. It's rain and it's freezing cold. And I ran out here with no jacket and I'm soaking wet now. Um, I just wanted to clear something up that I said earlier today. When I was talking about yesterday, I didn't come back out and feed the animals. I didn't starve them. <laughs> they actually had grain when I came back here. Everybody had um, pellets, rabbit pellets. I feed them pellets in the morning. And most of the time, by the following morning, it's empty. Sometimes they'll still have some left. Um, but I come in the evening and give them hay, and I forgot to give anybody hay. So they still had food, just not hay. So before everybody yells at me, and they're like, oh my God, you starving your rabbits. How could you do that? They weren't hungry. Tink laid an egg. Checking on mama in here. I'm gonna pull this up so we can look at her. Take a look. She's still sitting. I've not checked to see if any of the eggs are pipped. Try not to bug her too much. But I'm real interested to see what's under there. It's hard not to get involved, but sometimes it's just best. I was about to say it's just best to let nature take its course, but I've got a chicken sitting on quail, so yeah. I'm thoroughly soaking wet, and this one decided she needed to come back in because she was getting rained on, even though she insisted on going outside. I tried to explain to her, you don't want to go out. Just got off the phone with the gentleman who is making me some t-shirts. We are going to be making Hope's Homestead t-shirts. Um, I don't have a website up yet, so until I do that, like you really can't order them, and they won't even be here until after the 22nd, but they'll be here on the 22nd. So if you guys are interested in that, you can always shoot me an email. We can do it by PayPal and I'll mail it to you. So. That should be fun. Love you guys. I'm going to end the vlog there. I am not showing you dinner tonight because I'm just making bacon and blueberry waffles. That's it. Um, but there will be a video uploaded um, from what I made John for breakfast slash dinner this morning. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.